number five. Fans of immersive Metroidvania games might be interested in Phosphy, a game that emphasizes exploration, discovery, and planning. Fight your way through a dark and dangerous coastal world full of mysteries and ancient treasures. The world is filled with long, buried temples inhabited by eldritch monstrosities. The game is entirely hand-drawn and animated and really gives off a solid and consistent art style. The demo should be available come Steam Next Fest, so we'll keep an eye out for this one. In the meantime, you can wishlist. Number four. Since we're also focusing more on plugins and engine tools this year, I'm extremely happy to showcase this simple but highly useful plugin available now in the official asset store. Little Camera Preview brings an additional small viewport into the editor so you can preview in-game cameras without having to switch your overall view. This means easier editing of camera views and quality of life improvements when level editing. The plugin is free and available on both GitHub and the official asset store. This week's video is sponsored by Zenva. Zenva Academy offers easy to follow courses for game development with Gato 4. These courses are designed for both beginners and intermediate level developers who are looking for structured guides to game development. Zenva courses are both fun and practical. You get professional video tutorials, written lessons, and interactive quizzes. Plus, you'll work on real projects, building games in different genres like open world, RPGs, and first person shooters. And if you have interests beyond the Gato engine, they have courses in Python, Unity, Unreal, and other tools. With one subscription, including a seven day free trial, you can immediately unlock over 250 courses. And today you can use my link in the description to get an extra 20% off the first year of your annual Zenva subscription on top of any existing site discounts. But this special offer is only valid for the first 50 subscribers. So head over to Zenva for all things Gato 4 or explore other game development areas. Number three. The Spectral Web Hitodama combines a love of both top-down dungeon crawler and Metroidvania. You explore a labyrinth of magic, monsters, and mystery as you wield unique spells to battle enemies. The game itself borrows heavily from retro-style gameplay and graphics with updated combat mechanics. With multiple difficulties, bonus characters, and a randomizer, you also have plenty to do. You can check it out on Steam. Number two. Beat Magic showed up on the Gato subreddit this week and features a sample-based loop sequencer built in the Gato engine. You can randomize tracks and make use of mixing and effects tools. Save your creations and export your beats to a WAV file. It's always cool to see non-game applications being made in the engine, and I think it shows how versatile the engine can be with enough creativity. And before we get to our number one spot, congrats to last week's winner, Buck Up and Drive 2. Be sure to vote for your favorite to have them featured in our new Gato Game Awards at the end of the year. And number one. Okay, so this may be a bit early to showcase this game because as far as I could find, there isn't any video footage to show. But Cycle Patrol R is going to resonate with a lot of people regardless because it comes from the developer behind Cruelty Squad. The graphic style should be a dead giveaway as well as the setting a mecha FPS hybrid policing and punishment simulator set in the decayed Pan-Europa. It's quickly becoming one of the most wishlisted games on Steam, so we too will keep an eye out. 